So, I think this is working. No one's saying anything in chat. I'm not going to be able to read chat, uh, per se, given that I have an Oculus on my face and will be busy vomiting. But uh, I'm going to try and check it every now and then, see what people are saying, answer pertinent questions. Um, and other than that, I intend to uh, just get extremely sick. Apparently fucking Oculus makes me nauseous as shit. Like, I'm playing for approximately 30 seconds now and already, like, my feet are getting tingly and I'm, like, getting dizzy and I want to stop. It's crazy. Hey, it's the N-squared. OG fucking sluts viewer. What is my title right now? Oh, my title is... That I'm streaming through Dark Souls in one stream. That's not actually gonna happen. Um, maybe it'll bring people though. Cause you know, I, I'm not sad to uh, to have a sensationalist title that'll bring people, regardless of its uh, authenticity. I'm happy that this happened. Jesus, that derp guy. Um, I don't know how I can do this. I kind of can't. Uh, I'm relishing my opportunities to look at chat because it means they don't have to be fucking doing this because it's fucking nauseating as shit. Hopefully you guys can hear and see everything okay. Um, is I really can't. Man, Dark Souls look really different. And you know, the Oculus mod, they had to uh, downgrade the graphics a lot to make the game work. I feel like I saw a power up. Um, so basically, the way it works, I guess I should probably explain this at the top of the stream here. Um, so you can walk around WASD, you can look around with a uh, mouse, and you can also look around using the Oculus, as I am doing now. So you look independently of where your gun is pointing. So if I look over to the right and I'm shooting, my gun is still shooting in this direction. Um, mostly because that was the easiest way to do it. Also, I think that, like, you know, looking around to try and aim at shit would be kind of confusing. I think it's cool that you can just be, like, blasting a dude and be like, Oh, hey, hey, what's going on, man? What's going on over there? Oh, yeah, it's good. I'm gonna go back to blasting this guy. Uh, chat. Brandon the Fish, what's going on, man? How does he even reach chat? I, uh, temporarily take off the Oculus and, uh, peek into the real world. So, yeah, this was fucking both easier and harder than I anticipated. Like, getting this working was... I just realized the fucking ghost is gonna come. Uh, getting it working was super easy. I got it done in like three-ish hours, just like complete Oculus support for the gameplay. Um, getting it, like getting all the menus and everything working was the real bitch. Which actually I heard, um, or I saw Mike Bithel tweeting about that when he was doing Oculus for Thomas Was Alone. Probably the most ridiculous fucking game to be doing Oculus for. Uh, that like the menus is the most confusing thing. Is you gotta fucking deal with like looking around and shit in menus, it's confusing. Uh, so basically the way it works in Paranoid Activity is that it's just the regular menus, but you can also look around. Uh, for some reason, you have to pe press escape six times in order to get it to unpause. I'm not entirely sure why. That's how it is. Dangerous Reaper, what's going on? Uh, playing PA while watching nauseous version of PA. Meta enough? That is pretty meta. I escape for waffles, Amy Law, and Fothington. Uh, I'm not doing too well, Fothington. I'm exceedingly nauseous. But I'm pushing through. So I'm not sure if this is an intended effect of the Oculus. I imagine it is, but everything feels... Um, that fucking sound like the biggest idea. Everything feels super 3D. I imagine... The two uh, views are there to give a stereoscopic view of things. I'm gonna shut up now and uh, end that train of thought there. But fucking, when I didn't fucking think about that, it just sounded like the coolest thing in the world. Just like, for some reason in my head, just having the screen right next to my face is what was making everything seem 3D. And I was like, whoa, that's crazy. Also, where's my boss so far? I know it's here. I think it might be beyond the top of the screen. Uh, we got chosen one, yeah. Fucking a relatively disorienting item to have. Why the fuck not? Um, I'd love to see Bisnap play this. Dude, if Bisnap has an Oculus, I'm about to be hyped. I know iDubs has an Oculus, and I imagine he will probably give this a go. Where the fuck is the boss? Well, dead. And the mostly working death screen. Actually, does the death screen work? Bad news! The death screen doesn't actually work. I totally thought I fixed it, so I'm gonna have to quit and relaunch the game. Real quick. Hey, it's Emerson and Babble Dude. What's going on, guys? Uh, so, force quit game, relaunch game. Hopefully, everything work okay. Mike, have you tried Gang of Soul? Actually, uh, that was like the only thing that I was doing when I first implemented this was uh, just like immediately hacking in Gang of Soul. I don't want your safety warnings. Uh, play. Let's do the. T actually, let's do. No, the bouncer's actually. Is the bouncer that hard? I don't know. And for some reason, everything fucking glitches out. But it seems to be back to working order. I said your name right. Yeah, it's not that bad. Babble Dude? I can't imagine how else anyone would pronounce it. Maybe Babel Dude? Babel Dude? 
Babe Ledude? I don't know, man. Looks like Babe Ledude to me. So I really fucking have nothing to say. Like, I'm. it's taking so much mental energy for me to just not fucking fall out of my seat and vomit and shit in my pants that it's really hard to think of shit to say. You guys should ask me interesting questions about Oculus support and or other paranautical activity things. So I have something to talk about other than the fact that this is um, nauseating and awful. Also, I just realized, I think the map is upside down. I hadn't actually considered that as a problem because the thing is, oh, it's fucking it's hard to explain. Basically, like, the map is a physical object in the Oculus version because I can't actually draw GUI stuff um, onto the Oculus for some reason. I have no idea why. Um, and so, like, it's supposed to be at the bottom of the screen. And so my solution to making it at the bottom was to put it, like, below the screen and then flip it upside down. Which makes absolutely no sense. You just think you just fucking put it, like, you know, center it where it's supposed to be centered. There's no need to flip it. For some reason I saw fit to fucking flip it, and now it's fucking flipped. So, as if things weren't confusing enough already. This is pretty much the best boss we could possibly be fighting against this guy, having no HP. Actually, probably rather fight Dilby, but this is second best. Um, gives a little speed down, but this guy starts with really good speed, so it's not really a problem. And tons of armor, which is exactly what we needed. Uh, can we fight the mini-boss? We did not. I don't care if you want to get out of here, cat. I can't even see you. I couldn't let you out if I wanted to. I'm in prison of my own creation. I'm powerless. What do you want? Like, how's the mall simulator coming? It's in the early stages of not happening. Uh, thanks for the retweet. Yeah, no problem. Whatever I retweeted. Oh, you're uh, that dude with the Meat Boy fucking icon. I'm really bad at names. Like, I will recognize fucking every single person's Twitter icon that I've ever seen. But uh, their handles and or names, not so much. Yeah, you're a cool dude. Dude with a uh, Meat Boy icon. I like you. I like your tweets. All right, I want to read more chat things because you guys are saying stuff and it looks real important. I gotta shoot this guy first. All right. Dead. These guys also dead. And Tenchi Sword. Probably a bad plan. I'm gonna need all the consumables I can get. I can keep accidentally going into rooms. Alright, let's blast these fools. Come at me. Come at me. Came at me. And dead. Alright. Fuck, I alt tabbed. Why would I fucking alt tab? I had no reason. God. Alright. Um. I see Mike hasn't gotten better at streaming since the good old bi weekly streams. You know, I think if anything, I've gotten worse. Uh, are you done with PA updates? I am not. I'm currently working on a unlocks patch, which is gonna like lock off some of the content. Um, so there's like a progression system in the game, like you'll unlock weapons and items, and even like some of the bosses will be locked off until you beat certain other bosses so they don't fight super hard and stuff uh, early on. And after that, we're going to do another polish and uh, bug fixing patch. So we've got a little bit more work on, done to do on the game. But we're hoping to release in like three weeks? October 17th, whenever that is. Uh, do you need your 3D glasses? Yes, don your 3D glasses now. Oh, that'd be so cool if like for, uh, for streaming there was like some way to turn the Oculus input into like, what is it, fucking red and cyan? Red and blue? Uh, so that people could experience a small amount of the dimensional effect. So, uh, we have $325. We can get Super Amboos. Let's definitely get Super Amboos, because that's just basically like a horseshoe that'll give us more drops, because we have the converter. I swear to God, if this cat meows one more time, I'm going to give it what it wants and let it out. Alright, I'm doing... Uh, fucking pause. Alright. Get out of my office. Have you tried Gorton plus Oculus left? Left yet. It's actually not that bad. Um, Gorton's sickle, like, it seems like the more a weapon telegraphs where it's going, like, where the shots are gonna go and shit, like, um, with Gilead's gun, you can just, like, see your stream of shots, and with the sickle it just, like, you know, flies in a direction. Uh, it sort of, like, uh, affects the difficulty of how hard it is to use that class or that weapon because you have no crosshair So you're just basically using the direction your gun is pointing because I can look over in this direction and be pointing and fucking shooting in this direction So I have to just gauge where my shots are going to be going based on the direction of the muzzle So like if 
on top of that, I can use the existing shots that are right on the screen to sort of figure out what's going on. Uh, helps things greatly. I think we can just piece the fuck out of this floor. I don't think we can really get anything more here. Um, so, stream's probably only gonna last half hour, an hour or so. I just want to make sure that everything works as expected. Um, which, thus far, everything has, except for the, uh, death screen not working at all, and I have no idea why, but that's a small thing. Uh, I'm concerned about little corner cases. Like, I know I had to do some extra code to make Genghis's soul work because it was, like, flipping the gun upside down, but not the actual perspective because the perspective was, like, locked into the Oculus. Um, but other than that, I don't think there's gonna be too many bugs exclusive to the Oculus version, other than, obviously, menu weirdness. Um, let's not go in there. I just figured I'd, you know, show it off. Not a lot of people have an Oculus, and not a lot of people are going to be able to experience this. Now you can experience it uh, vicariously through my own suffering. Blast these homies. Exceedingly disoriented. I think I'm kind of getting used to it. Uh, it has an initial extreme nausea phase, followed by a just mild disorientation phase, which I am into. All right, chat update. Hey, it's Doxy. Hey, there's a poll. Uh, an Oculus with Twitch mod? I imagine there is. I wouldn't be too surprised to see it. Um, I feel like there would be a way that I could make it work. Like, uh, the Oculus just works as an extra monitor on your computer. Like, you plug it into an HDMI or a DVI port. Oh my god, this is the last fucking thing I have to fight. So, theoretically, if I were to, like, run the game in windowed mode and then just have a little chat window overlaid, I'd be, like, sacrificing, um, some immersion, obviously, and some of my viewports, but... I should be able to just render it on top of that. Uh, as for whether or not there's like an automatic plug-in, I wouldn't be too surprised because, you know, fucking Oculus is like the holy grail of streaming and YouTubing, so I imagine there's lots of support for that kind of thing. Oh, this is so cool. Skeletons getting all up in my grill. I imagine this is fucking average-ass paranautical activity for you watching at home, but this is really cool for me. Oh, you know what I just fucking realized? If you were to like watch an oculus video in full screen with an oculus you'd like get the stereoscopic effect and everything oh that's so cool that would totally work right i don't see any reason it wouldn't unless it's doing some sort of super high frequency like flicker or something to make it work i know the um like modern 3d tvs have like some sort of active uh glasses or like there's like a shutter or something i don't know some fancy shit and the most useless item in the world because our projectiles already bounce but if we get something else it could be really cool I fucking should have checked the chat before I went in here. Oh, let's just use our power up. Plow through it. Our power up. Really, really want a new weapon now. Dude, fucking rocket launcher with the flippers is amazing. And we get rage. Kind of useless. Uh, it's CKD. And why to be crazy? All the cool people are here. <clears throat> uh, Oculus wall spider monkeying around would be sweet. I have no idea what you're talking about. Uh, why did I cross your eyes? Crossing your eyes is nauseating, man. You want an Oculus so bad, this game looks like the funnest thing ever with Oculus. I was expecting it to suck a lot, because, like, the whole thing with Oculus is, like, it's about, like, immersive games where all you really do is, like, look around, and this game is, like, super fast-paced, so I just figured it'd be, like, nauseating and shitty. But just fucking, like, being in there with, like, the 3D and everything working is super cool. You know? The more I play it, the more I like it, and the more I want an Oculus of my own. I'm actually um, borrowing this Oculus from a friend of a friend, but I wish I had some handles for him. He's also a developer, and I wish I could pimp him uh, as thanks for this awesome gift that he's given me. Well, this awesome loan that he's given me, but he's fucking saved my ass, man. Like, you know, the dev kits take, like, six weeks to ship. The game's supposed to come out in only, like, two weeks, so it was too late for us to do, uh, to, like, get one on our own. Like, buying one fucking scalped off eBay is, like, $600, so fuck that. Uh, so, like, I was just fucking calling around trying to find somebody with an oculus and uh, Joe Mirabello kind enough to hook me up with his homie Jesse something who is uh, local to my area who's willing to let me borrow this for a couple days which is super nice of him I'm really happy alright after this room we'll once again check chat and hopefully the hype from Doxy getting here has subsided has Mike sold out to Facebook now? oh yeah fucking Facebook bought oculus right that's crazy crazy uh, Joe Mirabella is such a cool fucking dude. He really is. He fucking he lives close to me now. I just moved to uh, Rhode Island. He's in Boston, which is like an hour drive away. Uh, me and that dude should hang out. He's cool. 
So we've already been here. I can't fucking tell. This broke ass map. Nope, apparently not been in here. I was trying to like fucking flip the map in my head and I might have flipped it and then reflipped it and then not known what the fuck I was looking at. So that sucks. Oh dude, fucking the other day, um, the other week, let's, let's rewind this shit back. Back into the, the old days of early September. Uh, somebody said it'd be really cool if we made a, uh, like an unlock or something in Paranautical Activity that made all the enemies, like... I just punched my microphone. Oh god, I twisted it. Uh, made all the enemies, like, 2D Doom Sprites. And I was like, no, no, that'd be so much work. Travis would have to animate them, and even worse, I'd have to implement the anim animations, and that would suck. Alright, so we're going the wrong way, and we're dead. Uh, but back to my fun story, as we relaunch the game here. Uh... I was like, oh no there's, no, there's no way we would do that. And then all of a sudden, I got this crazy idea to just, like, flatten the models. Just, like, set the models, like, Z projection to zero. Or point one, really, because zero would just be completely invisible. Um, and I did that, and it was so cool. Like, it looked like normal mapped, super well-animated sprites. And it was the most badass thing. All right, are we functioning? No, we're not. Not even a little bit. All right, are we now? I think. Play, and let's just random. And escape, escape. Uh, so pressing escape, like, resets the perspective to forward, to, like, wherever you're looking, so that, like, it automatically knows, like, what direction your desk and keyboard is from you when you start the game. Uh, which is why I keep pausing and unpausing every time I relaunch the game. So I'm, uh, fighting a boss here. Really nothing interesting to say about that. See, I was, uh, the fucking, the Doom version of the game. I really want to do something with that, but I would have to playtest it so extensively and, like, I feel like I'd have to hack a lot of stuff to make it work properly because I was fighting, like, the snail boss, and for some reason the snail boss, instead of rolling at me, just stayed in its idle animation and then slowly floated towards the ceiling until it, like, flipped. <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> oh, my back! I pulled something! Ah! 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 I punctured a lung! <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I did. I'm wearing somebody else's Oculus and I fell on the floor. This is, this is not my thing to break. Oh my god. <laughs> it's like, like I spasmed and like hit the side of my chair and it like knocked the wind out of me and fucking like punctured one of my lungs. That sucks. Now I don't know what chat was saying because they're all just laughing at me. Oh my god. I'm in so much pain now. I hope Doxy feels bad because now I'm in pain. This hurts a lot. I might have to go to the hospital. I can't afford to go to the hospital. I make video games for a living. <laughs> Bitch. <sighs> Fuck, dude. <laughs> well. Sorry he's not going to cut it, Doxy. For the worst. Dude, fucking, I'm playing my own video game. I'm not even playing something scary. If I was playing something scary, that would've sucked. Uh, what is this? Is this, uh, health box? Mystery box? God, now I'm even more nauseous. I don't know if it's from my punctured lung or what. Uh, we actually kind of need this health. So the game's way harder with fucking Oculus. Uh, probably partially because there's no fucking crosshair and partially because it's disorienting as shit. But it's fun. I don't know if anybody's ever gonna beat it with an Oculus. I feel like if anybody can do it, if anybody can do it who also has an Oculus, it's uh, Mr. Idubs. So I should probably fucking hit him up later and uh, give him this build so he can give it a shot. So I would enjoy watching that. An entertaining man who does entertaining things. Whew. I feel like I'm, I'm bleeding internally. Should. Make sure there's no redness or swelling around my abdominin. Abdominin. Yep, my abdominin. Where I keep my abdomins. 
Poor little baby? I'm not a little baby, I'm just poor. Uh, yeah, nothing interesting in chat happening. I want $200. So that I can buy- Ooh, if I get 225, I can then hurt myself and buy this. That'd be 20 HP though, with 10, yeah. I can never not buy mystery boxes, like, unless one of the best items in the game is, um, available as an alternative, I will always go for the mystery box, because you, gotta, you just gotta know what's inside. It's a mystery, and I need to solve it. Uh, fuck, this map is so confusing. I keep trying to flip the map in my head, and somehow every time I just flip it and then flip it again, and the flip does nothing. It does nothing. Get some. And now the Oculus is sitting on my head right and it's all blurry. God, Doxy's the worst. What a bitch, am I right? I think she left chat. I hope she left chat. Fucking boss room, let's do it. I am out of this floor. I'm kind of tempted to just like speed run the game more or less, just like fucking boss rush mode it. But I don't think I can really get away with that because, um, you know, it's the game is harder now. It's not like you're playing fucking version 1.5 and you can beat the game with your eyes closed. Um, also, just fucking having the Oculus on means that I need every goddamn help I can get. Ghost is coming. I think we'll be able to get out of here before this is a problem. I'm receiving a text message. No, it's a telephone call. All right, let's answer this telephone call live. It could be important. What if it's a debt collector? It's New York, U I swear, a fucking Tretch calls me. Hello? Nah, this ain't Tretch. There has been a resurgence of people looking for Tretch lately. It was a six month lull. Six months of nobody thinking that I was a famous rapper, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I got like six calls in the last week. It's crazy. Fucking Justin died for me to stream again for the first time in goddamn six months. Tretch made me start calling me. Makes me think that chat just has my phone number and they're fucking with me. Uh, I have... I'm playing this tank, but why am I even considering this? Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I'm not using my speed to my advantage. Get it. <gasps> what did I do? Oh. Cool. I didn't think that that glitch where you could get in the elevator and get back out again was still possible. Like, I've tested it. Thoroughly. Trying to do it to make sure it wasn't possible. Oh well. One more thing to fix version, uh... 1.9 or 2.0? I think I'm gonna call the unlocks patch 1.9.1 and then the last patch 1.9.2 and then the next patch 2.0. We could technically we could go to like 1.10, but that's lame and stupid and fuck that. Just fucking do mini patches. They're not really that big anyway. We've only been really calling content patches proper patches anyway. Unlocks aren't really content. So we got Doby, so we can just get all the fucking speed downs. Let's get all the speed downs. And all we need is uh, lead, and I think we'd be as slow as it's possible to be in Paranautical Activity. I'm trying to think. There might be some items that have hidden speed downs in them, but I can't think of any of them. Oh my god, Doby's all up in my face, and it's so cool! I feel like I can reach out and touch him! Dead? I can't see the edge of his health bar. So Doxy was playing this earlier, she said it was really hard for her to aim. I am not having that problem at all. And maximum slow. Oh my god. We're fucking... We're cripples rolling around. Uh, Mike, make the ghost's name Tretch. Oh, fucking... What was that? Oh, I was writing the story for my next game, Spinal Destination. And uh, one of the characters is like... Uh, Samuel L. Jackson-esque, you know, classic 80s fucking ain't taking no shit black man. And I wanted so bad to call him Tretch. And I still might. But I feel like it might be too much of an in-joke. Oh my god, I don't want to fight things, I'm too slow. God, I would fucking, I would straight up suck some dick for some sea legs right now. I would put another man's penis in my mouth for that. Alright. Money. If we get a little more money and a half off item, we could make this sea legs dream happen. I suppose we also would have to find sea legs. And nothing. Nothing at all. Ch -ch -ch 
I'm reading chat right now. In case you're wondering why I'm just sitting here. Oh, fuck. I was looking at the the stream and like seeing explosions and shit and thinking something was happening in the game. Yep, nothing interesting in chat. Be more interesting, chat. I need shit to talk about. As we slowly hobble. So also, I've um I have made the door frames illuminated. Which you can't it just makes them look a little more brown on regular levels. But on dark levels, shit's gonna change your life. You know, you had you had problems before. Now, you know, ain't no sunshine when she's gone. Um, I don't know, man. I actually haven't fought a fucking dark floor since I've added that, but it's a thing that Biznap suggested or mentioned in one of his videos, and people have been saying it for a while. And, uh, you know, I feel like... Yeah, I was trying to stick to my guns, but I feel like every time I stick to my guns on, like, a thing like that, it's always because I'm just a dumbass and don't want to admit that I was wrong about something. Like when fucking back, way back in the day, when Green was saying that there should be an invincibility timer, and I was like, no, the game is hard, fuck you. And then eventually I realized Green was right, and, uh, yeah. Moral of the story, Green's pretty much always right. Also, sometimes this now, but less. Less often. <clears throat> Alright, so we have already fought the boss, I think. I see I see red on the map, and I feel like I wouldn't see the boss without- Yeah, we fought Doby. Doby was this floor. So I think I'm just gonna piece the fuck out of here. I really wish that this assault power-up was a, uh, shoes. Why would you not pause the game? The ghost- I'm not scared of no ghosts. You got sea legs, flipper, rocket launcher, and dash yesterday. Oh fuck, I heard doors close. I was just walking with the Oculus off my face. Um, sounds like an amazing run from the two thirds of it that I read about. I would love to continue reading about it. These fucking monsters would be the fuck out of here. Yeah? Oh, the sharks like fucking popping up and biting you looks so cool in uh, Oculus mode. It actually, that was one of the co things that looked the coolest in uh, uh, 2D mode. And I don't know why. I don't know why it looks so cool. Oh god. Oh, I thought the message was gone about the cool run. Most fun and most difficult thing on the planet? Yeah, that sounds crazy fun. I'm not sure how I feel about uh, Chosen One, the dash item. Like, initially, when I was just, like, implementing it and testing it, I thought it was super good. Uh, we want to go this way. Yeah? It gets flipped. Yeah! Uh, when I, yeah, when I was first working on Chosen One, I thought it was super good. Because I would just, like... <laughs> Jesus, I'm losing my fucking voice. Um, no! I would just take it into, um... Into like the first room of the level and be like, yeah, you know, you tap to dash and it works fine. But if you're like in actual gameplay situations, like especially in the late game, it's just more confusing than helpful, I think. Uh, do we need that health? Yeah, we're at 8 out of fucking 15. We need all of this shit. You might actually lose more than 2 health by going over there though, because ghost! Alright, can I dodge with the same amount of precision? Yes. Mostly. Sea legs get me killed. Yeah, sea legs tend to get you killed. Uh, but, you know, they're fun. I pretty much never don't take sea legs. and I, don't, I feel like I've won as many runs from sea legs as I've lost. Like, a lot of times I win the game and I can attribute it to having sea legs. Because sea legs change the game so much. Like, usually in Paranormal Activity, the reason it's so hard is that you have to always be moving. And, like, you, even if your enemy is stationary, you still have to be moving to avoid them. So pretty much everything is a fucking trick shot. Uh, but if you have sea legs... You can just, like, stand still, shoot a dude, and then when he starts shooting at you, just, like, tap the button for, like, half a second, and you're all of a sudden you're across the room, and then you can start shooting him again. So all of a sudden, aiming isn't so much of a problem. I would love that slow-mo. Actually, let's, let's pop this, grab this, and run to the boss and see if we can keep most of this. Um, but obviously, the trade-off with sea legs is that also it's super hard to control yourself and uh, not die to uh, your own stupidity. Oh, this guy looks super cool in the fucking Oculus mode, too. Dude, I fucking need my own Oculus. I want to get one. I've been trying to hold out for the final... That was easy. For the final release version, but I don't know if I can do it. I'm fucking playing this. I played the um, the tech demo, and I played this, and that's it. I want to find the guillotine simulator that I heard everyone talking about uh, back when the Oculus was first starting to get to be, like, a hype thing. Because that sounds super cool. Because people were, like... Fucking saying that that was disorienting and weird as shit, and I want to be a part of that disorienting, weird as shit lifestyle. Uh, why are we shooting so slow? Oh, because we just had assault, and now it just feels like we're shooting slow. Because we were shooting fast, and now we're not. Keep getting chain. Oh, did it actually happen? Oh man, from the side, looked exactly like chain. I was like, yep, 
I'm a precog. Okay, so we fought the boss. Do we want... We have almost 400 coins. I feel like the item room is going to be super worth. We, we lost a couple. I'm surprised. I'm doing pretty good. I am doing pretty fucking as I slowly walk into all the damage in the world. Um, but I'm on floor three and going to be on floor four. I'm about to fight this room and these guys are not going to kill me. Uh, so just shop and then we're out of here unless the ghost somehow magically spawns. Which is not out of the question given my track record with code. Alright, this fucking Oculus is getting blurry as shit. I need to get my hair out of my face. Readjust this whole situation. Oh, yeah. I can barely count the pixels now. That's one of the, the downsides of the uh, Oculus, that you can fucking, like, the screen's so close to your face and it's not that high res, so you can just literally just sit here and count pixels. You can vividly see the lines between them. But I've heard the DK2 is not so much of a problem. Definitely the fucking release version's not gonna have that be a problem. There's no way they're gonna release a consumer product with uh, that glaring of a uh, issue. I am going to take Shell, because that is a run winner. It's a run winner! And I can read chat while I'm walking back. Is the guillotine oculus called Disunion? It might. It very well might be. Uh, I remember nothing about it other than hearing that it was a thing and hearing that it was really cool and creepy and disorienting. Pretty much the name of the game with oculus is creepy and disorienting. Everything's either designed to make you vomit or make you shit your pants. Bonus points for both. Oh, fuck. I almost missed this. That could be the savior of the day. With 15 HP... Golden Heart is useful as fuck. And we will slowly crawl our way out of this bitch. So I think after this run, I'm gonna be done. Uh, I'm gonna see how this goes, and then call it there. Hop in here, and then I can re-chat while the elevator goes. <clears throat> Shell hype? Shell hype is real, man. Shell is fucking good. Dude, Paranautical Activity is a, it's a rare roguelike in that a lot of the fucking, the items, like, dramatically change the mechanics of the game. I feel like the armory might look too similar to regular doors now, now that I've made them glow. Uh, but, like, there's so many things that, like, ch hugely change the health mechanics, like, make your health, like, bombs, or change the order in which health and armor work, or uncap your health. I feel like the game's relatively unique in that respect. So, fuck yes, all of this. Yes. So it looks like I have 3 armor and 11 out of 15 hearts. I had to um, to make the displays <clears throat> substantially larger to compensate for the Oculus. Uh, so things spilling over a little bit. I think what I'm going to... Oh, no. No, it could all be over right here. I think what I'm going to do is sort of leave the Oculus support kind of fucked up because it's hard to develop for something where there's like there's two versions of it right now and I have no idea what the final version is going to be like. So I could develop it in such a way that it works with both of the current versions, but then I have to go back to it anyway for the final version. So I think I'm just gonna get it working well enough, like, pretty much as it is now. Uh, I'll obviously, like, fix the upside down map and shit. Oh, fuck. Um, and then I'll do a patch when the Oculus proper finally releases. Um, because there's, there's, there's no sense in making it work perfectly with this and then having to do it all over again when the final Oculus releases. But uh, I think that's gonna do it for me. I'm sorry about the short stream, but I just kinda wanted to um, <clears throat> show off the Oculus support and uh, get some feedback.